Hey there, Gamer Obscure here, continuing A Link to the Past. Oh god, we are in the home stretch of Ganon's Tower, but it's not, I want to say it's not over and it's not easy yet, but it actually went pretty well there. That's one of the tougher rooms. I actually, I'm pretty happy with the way I've been playing this so far. I don't know why I can't ever do this when I'm racing people, even though I don't race. Now, if you want, if you're low on health or whatever, you can bonk on these squares. And below that cracked wall, you can bust that open. There's a bunch of fairies in that room. But I don't really need it, so... I'm just gonna skip it. But at least you know that it's there. And now it's really just, like, kill all these enemies as fast as you can. And the rooms get increasingly more irritating. So, like, you know, here we got these... Skulls with the Beemos, like they're throwing their bones at you. The Beemos is just scooting around the room. You know, on the conveyor belt, it's a pain in the ass. You got traps you're gonna walk into over and over again. <laughs> or we can just go around, it's not a big deal. But yeah, now we got ice and conveyor belts, and like these red ones spit fire at you. The Beemos, such a pain in the ass, man. This one's probably one of the worst rooms. Ooh, uh, because now you got, like, that other tile spitting little fireballs at you. But once you take out this one, it's not so bad. Get your powder ready. Because there's an anti-fairy. It's a yellow one, though, so you gotta be quick. But if you take them up before they start moving, you actually get a fairy. And now we get to fight the Landmalas again. Except this time we got the Butter Sword, so they only take, like, two hits to get rid of them. So we'll see. Also, alternatively... You can use the, uh, the silver arrows to take them out in one hit, but I think that went pretty well. Butter Sword makes short work of them. And now I think we're in one of the coolest rooms, in my opinion. You go up these stairs, and there's like this invisible floor. Just use the cane, put a square down, and as soon as they're solid, do that, and then you can just kind of scoot around. You can't walk straight, though. If you try and walk straight through there, you're gonna fall through the, the floor. There's fake floors there, I just happen to know where they are. Now we're in one of the more irritating rooms. Because you got these things, they show up for just a split second. So this might take some time. Ooh. I'm gonna grab the heart, just so I have full life, yay! Even though it doesn't really matter at this point. But yeah, I think we're okay, there aren't... We've not even found a locked door yet, so I think as long as you come into this part of, of the tower... ...with at least one key, I think you'll be okay. Now one of the more obnoxious rooms. I'm actually, I'm gonna grab this pot first as well. And now you just gotta scoot around the room. You know, I like to use the, the lamp. And then wait for that thing to pass by. And now run, because you don't have much time before that door closes. Because the lamps, you know, they burn out. And whatnot. And I think one of these has magic, thank goodness. Because now we need... Actually, I think you can do this with the lamp as well. But here you gotta be quick, because... The floor starts breaking away. But you can just do this, it's not bad. Not... Bad at all. No trouble at all. Yeah, one of those clowns has a key, so we have two keys. I think we're okay. You got some bombs. You got some bombs and you didn't even need them. You got more bombs that you didn't need. Like, 50 bombs, I'm just completely maxed out. But here's the thing, if you if you didn't have maxed out bombs, there's a chance you would need them. What? Just wasn't far enough, I guess. <gasps> oh, yeah, look at that, it's pretty pro right there. Alright, so we're gonna wait for the yellow one. Yeah, so we've already got a key. And I think this goes... I think that goes to, to Moldorm. Yes, we have to fight Moldorm again, on an even smaller platform this time as well. Shit! So we'll see if I can knock it knocked off... ...here. Although with the Butter Sword, I think it only takes like two hits. Maybe three, I guess. I don't know. Dude, I totally hit this thing. Don't even... up oh, two hits. Alright. Now, if you time it just right, you can hook shot across here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that! And then here you can hook shot across. You don't need to push all these blocks like a sucker. And now this is definitely the most obnoxious room in the whole... ...in the whole tower. Because you got these conveyor belts, you got ice, you got the bumpers. 
But if you can get on that little middle row of ice there, just dash. And you are A-OK. -okay. And now we get to fight Aghanim again! Joy! In all his blue ball glory, we're gonna get more blue balls from Aghanim. Except this time, we're not gonna have a third meeting! Prepare to meet your doom. So this can work out pretty well. If you're really skilled at this, you can hit him with like all three of those at the same time. I'm usually not that good though. Oh, of course the real one gave me the blue balls. All right, this one we should be able to get him with a whole bunch of them. Just one? Cause he keeps giving me blue balls. Cut it out, Aghanim. What's the matter with you? Oh, I got hit. And then I deflected his away. Doesn't matter. Six times again, and you'll be all right. There we go. There we go. Two for one. Two for one. You're kind of just at the mercy of, of where these things show up. Dude, why are they going off at a funny angle, man? What the hell? But here we go. There we go. He's dead. He's dead. That can usually go really fast if you're a lot better than I am. And now here we go. It's time to fight Ganon. Like, this whole time, Aghanim was just Ganon, basically. I think. I don't know. And then we get Aflac! I don't, like, is this Ganon? It's a bat. It's just a bat that busts through the pyramid. It's implied that it's Ganon because when you drop down this hole, like, that's what you find is Ganon. Before I drop in there, however, we can refill our health. There's a tree down here that always gives you a fairy if you dash into it. And then the only challenge is actually catching the fairy. Like, walking into it. There we go. So we'll go to fight Ganon. We got full health, assuming a Hinox doesn't throw up. That one is- Whoa! That one is like power walking. Did you see that? I don't think I've ever seen one of those things move that fast. That's crazy. But anyways, we're on the home stretch here. Actually, I'm just gonna get my cape ready, because we're gonna need that first. We'll need that first. Yes, you can always get a free hit. I never imagined a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeated my alter ego egg and I'm the Dark Wizard. Twice. You can't beat him twice. But I will never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you and make my wish to conquer both light and dark worlds come true without delay. So, I mean, here, you just gotta hit him. Just go crazy. Eventually, you'll start making these bats appear, and then that's when you can... Yeah, right here. That fire hurts. So just don your cape. I hope you have magic potion and stuff. But yeah, just do this. And I mean... Alright, yeah, he's already doing this. So now we can... Take off the cape. And make sure you have your lamp selected. And let him, f let him show up first. Oh, shit! I forgot that he does that sometimes. You do not want to get knocked into the holes. Because then you have to start the fight all over again. But here's the thing, once he busts out the last part of the room, you want to be over here. Because when these torches go out- Oh no, silver's my one true weakness! Oh wait, no. You are doing well, lad, but can you break through the secret technique of darkness? On guard! Just start spamming the torch. Shit. Because once the lights go out, if you can light that one without the other one going out, you're okay. Now it's just a matter of him, you know, not knocking you into the hole. Shit. See, that one on the right will never go out now. So it just saves you the trouble. And, and, like, take it easy. There's no need to rush. Dude, sometimes you can hit him twice. Huh? What? I hit the button. I hit the button, sir. Don't let him hit you. And there we go. Time! GG's, y'all. That is Link to the Past. We just got the credits to watch. I'm pretty sure that is 100%. I'm sorry if it's not. I mean, I got all the heart containers and the pieces of heart and stuff. And we got all the items. Inventory was full. So, woohoo! I'm sorry, but your princess is in another castle. Welcome, Gammy. I am the essence of the Triforce. The Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. I don't know if I feel like reading all this, to be honest. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. If an evil-hearted person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. 
Why does this take so long? The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce is expression of that wish. Oh. Alright. So Ganon had a really evil wish then. Yeah, Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Ganon was building up his power here so he could conquer the Light World and make his wish come completely true. Why does the text have to be so slow? It's like you beat the game and you're all amped up and like you just want to read this stuff and it's like it ends up making you feel like that kid in the wheelchair on Malcolm in the Middle. It just drives me nuts. And to think that show is like almost 25 years old now. Actually it might be. I think it started in 1999. Pretty sure I was a sophomore in high school when that show started. Now touch it with a wish in your heart. The wish in your heart, Gam. Remember that. There we go. Yay! Yay. That thing's got to weigh a ton, though. Like, that's solid gold, isn't it? Or is it just gold-plated lead or something? But there we go. Link to the Past. The Return of the King. Like, watching this vanilla... It's gonna be kind of weird. Hey, the guards, they don't have, like, the evil-looking helmets anymore. The loyal sage. Speak, priest! <laughs> hey, Starter Jack, it's homecoming. He finally returned to his wife. She didn't even know he was gone. Crazy old bat. Looks like the brothers reconciled as well. Vultures rule the desert. What about the Jazz Hands guys? Then we got the locksmith opening some chests. He's looking back. He, what a guilty look on his face. And the bully makes a friend. There he is. Don't ever talk to those guys in the randomizer. They just talk forever about total nonsense. Complete waste of time. Hey, my uncle recovered. Nice. He's still got his dinky little sword. What the hell? Flippers for sale. Yeah, or er, er, validation arrow for sale. Green rupee for sale. Three bombs for sale. Damn you, Scam King. We got the witch and assistant. There they are, making their potions. What? The thing just scooted down the stairs on its butt. It's not even, that would be really uncomfortable, actually. And they're chomping down another tree. Why do you hate the environment? What is this? And they're so happy about it, too. Awesome Possum would not be pleased with you two. Oh, and the flute boy is back. And we got, is that the old man from the mountain? He's wearing red pajamas now, though. I don't know, Venus, Queen of the Fairies in the Wishing Well. There we go. Yeah, it gives you a ridiculous amount of arrows and bombs. And look at that figure. That is curvaceous. Good grief. Dwarven swordsmiths. Lally ho! The hammers are as big as they are. I mean, they're known for being ridiculously strong, but holy shit. Oh, is the bug catching kid all better? Is he all better? He's not sick anymore? I don't, it's not even showing him. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, look at me. He's all happy. A bee! But, but maybe that's the good bee. We never found the good bee. I think it's an ice rod cave. If you dash into the the statue in there, you can get the good bee. And the good bee is cool because like it, it attacks all the enemies on the screen. No, that's the old man. He's lost. Who's the other old man in red, though? He's like waving at it. Like, hey, come rescue me. Rescue me, the forest thief. Wait, what? That slime in the upper left looks like Kevin from the Jelly Spotters. After he got stung by the jellyfish. What the hell? And the Master Sword sleeps again. Forever. The Couch Cash sleeps again. Forever. Yeah, if you beat the game without going to the pedestal, you get to figure out what was there in the randomizer. And sometimes it's something pretty funny. Or you'll find out it was like half magic or something. And you'll almost kind of wish you had gone through the trouble of clearing all the dungeons. What's Now we have the credits. Now we have the credits. Well, I'm certainly going to fast forward these. 
And it just, it blows me away to think that this series is longer than GoldenEye. I mean, this is, this is going to be part 12. GoldenEye was only 10. Like, how is that even possible? Just goes to show how much game there actually is in Link to the Past. Now, granted, I mean, either one of those games, GoldenEye for sure, first ever playthrough to 100%, it took way longer than Link to the Past. But once you're good at both of these games, yeah, Link to the Past, I guess, is longer if you want to 100% it. That's just crazy to me. But I highly recommend it. If you've not played it, you need to. And the randomizers are always a blast because you get to experience the game a different way every time. And that combo randomizer with Super Metroid is just a brilliant piece of work. I love that more than anything now that I'm familiar with Super Metroid. So, yeah, that's that's all for Link to the Past. We'll just close this out here. Wait, quest history? What is this? Quest history? Games? East Palace 2? I don't I don't think I've ever watched this this far. What What is this keeping track of? Because I never died or anything. I mean, I did save and quit and stuff a couple times. I just, I don't understand. Is that how many times I've entered it? Did I really enter Ice Palace three times? I don't get that at all. That's gotta be like save and quit stuff going on. But did I really save and quit 19 times? I mean, I suppose like in between recordings and whatnot, like I didn't do this all in one sitting, of course. So that must be just how many times you started the game from the title screen or something. I don't know, but that's the end. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next series. Goodbye.